Hi everyone, thank you so much for your time and thanks for passing by. My name is Darlan Fee. Today we want to look at how to use a calculator to solve questions involving algebra. On the left hand side we have samples of past questions objectives that we want to help you use a calculator in solving them. Now for the purpose of this, you see when you look on the calculator we have different letters on it. But for the sake of this presentation, this is the letters we are going to use, these variables. We are going for one variable, we are going to use X. That is, any question that you have in which the question contains just one variable. If that variable is not X, we are going to replace that variable with X. And then for two variables, we are going to use X and Y. So in a question, if you have, let's say, B and C, okay, these are two letters. If we have a question in which there are only two variables in it. We are going to replace those variables with X and Y. And then for three variables, we are going to use the variables X, Y, and then M. Okay, so now we move on to the second question. Factorize the expression 5X squared plus 13X minus 6. So thankfully, this has an X as a variable, so let's enter it straight away on the calculator. So we have 5 to get the X, alpha X, then you square that, then plus 13, and then alpha X, and then minus 6. So minus 6. Okay, so now we want to see when we put, remember we are using the same instruction, whatever you see X, put 2. Where you see Y, you put 3, and where you see M, you put 4. So I click on solve, and then place of the X, I put 2 there, is equal to, now I'm getting 40. So the question is that, which of these possible answers, when you put X is equal to 2 into them, you, it will give you 40. Now to do that one, let's enter th these possible answers one by one on the calculator, and then let's substitute the X with the 2. To see which of these will give us 40. So the first one, let's open the bracket. We have 5 and then alpha x and then plus 3. Then we close the bracket. Under bracket opens, we have um, x minus 2. So alpha x and then minus 2. And then let's close the bracket quickly. And then you press on solve. And then in place of the x, let's put 2 and see if we get a 40. Now, when we put x there, we are getting 0. That means this is not the correct answer. Let's now go to the second option. And the second option is bracket open. So basically, I want to edit what I have so that I wouldn't waste time. That's 5x minus 2. So you go back and then, okay, so in Let's delete the min, uh, plus and put minus there. And then let's delete the 3 and let's put 2 there quickly. And then the next one, we move and you can see that it is plus 3. So let's delete the minus and put plus there. And then let's erase the 2 and put 3 there. Okay, so I want to be sure that I've entered the right thing there. Now when I go through it, it's obvious that I've entered the right thing. So you press solve. In place of the x, let's put 2. Then you press is equal to. We are getting 40. So it means the correct answer for this is B. Okay, so we are done. Now let's go for the next question. Quickly, I have to clean the calculator to ensure that I am getting correct values. The next question says that expand 3x minus 2y bracket plus and then bracket open 3x plus 2y. Now, thankfully, we are having X and Y there, so we are not going to replace anything. Now, enter the equation and um, the expression the way you see it on the calculator. So we have 3X, so 3X alpha X, and then minus 2Y, so 2, then alpha Y. Then you close the brackets, and then the next one, under bracket opens, we have 3, you go to alpha X, so alpha, and then you click on the x, and then plus 2y, so plus 2, and then alpha y. Then you close the bracket. 
Now, once again, be sure that you have entered exactly what we see in the question. Once you are satisfied, you have done the right thing, you press on solve. And then in place of the X, you put 2. In place of the Y, you put 3. So click on solve. In place of the X, you press on 2, is equal to. In place of the Y, you press on 3, is equal to. So now, obviously, we are getting 0. It means when you put X is equal to 2, Y is equal to 2, we we'll get 0. Now the question is, which of these, when you put X is equal to 2, Y is equal to 3, will give you 0? Now to do that, you enter the options one by one. So the first one, we have 9X, so alpha X squared. Okay, so you press the square, and then minus 4Y squared, so 4 alpha Y. And then you also press the square. And then, so that is it for option E. Let's see, when you put x is equal to 2 and y is 3, whether we'll get 0. So you press the solve. In place of the x, let's put 2 there. You press is equal to. In place of the y, we put 3. You press is equal to. We are getting 0. So it means the correct answer is this. Okay, is the A. If you doubt it, let's check the B. Remember the B is x squared plus 4y is squared. So let's change the minus into plus and see if we still get zero. Okay, so now you press the calc. You can see that I've entered option B correctly on the calculator. Okay, so you press the calc. In place of the X, I click on zero. Um, I click on two. In place of the Y, I click on three. Now I'm getting 72, so it means this is not giving me the right answer. So the best answer is option E, and we are done. Now let's now move quickly whilst I clear the calculator. Let's go to the last question on this example. We have simplified 2 over Q minus 3. Now remember this is a fraction, so you need to enter the fraction button. So you press the fraction button, and then the top one is 2. Now you go down, we have Q. Remember we are saying that where you have only one variable, let's use X. So in place of the Q, we want to put X there. So that will be x, that alpha x minus 3. Okay, so now let's leave, and then we have minus. So minus comes in. The next number 2 is a fraction. So we go for the fraction button. And then the top one is 3. Then you go down, we have q plus 2. Remember, we are replacing the q by x. So alpha x, and then we have plus 2. Okay, so now I've entered the expression on the calculator. Now remember, where you have only x, you press on calc. In place of the x, you put 2 there. So I press calc, and then I place 2, then you press is equal to. Now it means the right answer will give you minus 11 over 4. Okay, minus 11 over 4. Now, which of the possible answers here? When I put x is equal to 2, will give me minus 11 over 4. Now let's have the possible answers on the calculator. So the first one is a fraction. So I press the fraction button, and then I have 13 minus x. So 13 minus x, that's alpha, then x. You go down. Then the next one, we have other brackets. So bracket open, then x minus 3 okay then let's close the brackets then you open another bracket for the second one so we still have x alpha x then minus um we have plus 2 so plus 2 okay then i close my bracket okay now i want to be sure i've entered the right thing as it appeared here now it's true that what i've entered here is the same as i have on the question then you press solve Whatever you see x, you are putting 2 there. So you click on 2, and then it's equal to. So we have minus 11 over 4, which is the same as the first one that we did. So this answer 11 over 4 minus is the same. So the possible answer is option A. And this brings us to the end of this presentation. My name is Dalen Fee, and thank you so much for your time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.